So to fix it, you have to press and hold the shift key on the keyboard. So press and hold the shift key on the keyboard. And while holding the shift key, go to the power button and then click on restart. While holding the shift key, click on restart. Now click on restart anyway. Now on this screen, go to troubleshoot option and then go to advanced option. Now click on command prompt. Now over here type in reg edit that is R E G E D I T. So type in reg edit to open registry editor. Now hit the entry key. Now over here select H key local machine and go to file. Now click on load hive and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now, once you open C drive, open Windows folder. Now find System32 folder. Open System32 folder. Now find Config folder. So open the Config folder. Now find Software. So here you can see Software. So select Software and then click on Open. Now enter the key name one two three four just make sure your number lock key is on on the keyboard now one two three four and then click on ok now go back to registry editor now expand h key local machine now expand it one two three four now find microsoft folder So here you can see Microsoft, expand Microsoft. Now find Windows NT. So I scroll down. Over here you can see Windows NT, expand Windows NT. Now expand current version. Now once you expand current version, Now find password less. So here you can see password less. Expand password less. Now go to device. Now once you select device at the right hand side, you will see an option. Uh, you will see an entry that is device password less build, build version. Make a double click on it. And over here the value data is two. You can set it to zero and then click on OK. Now restart your computer. So close all the command prompt, everything, and then you can just continue. So this time when your computer restarts, you will see sign in options. So now you can click on sign in options and then you can uh, select the password option. So this is a pin option. If you don't, if the pin does not work, you can even use the password. So you can just type in the password, your Microsoft account password. and then you should be able to log in. So this is how you can fix it. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.